Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to the channel. I am Shanice Walker, your life coach and your motivational speaker. I thank you so much for clicking the button and finding some importance in what I have to say. Look y'all, I am excited to be here with you guys today. I wanna give you a disclaimer, I am on the road. I'm headed to pick my babies up from school. Um, <clears throat> actually, I am a little bit earlier than what I usually am. My baby has a dentist appointment this evening, so I am actually about to try to fight the um, the school line to try to pick my baby up a little bit early. Y'all wish me luck. But um, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what God, God and I had been communing about um, earlier this morning. Y'all, God is <clears throat> talking to me about this um, particular situation. So I know that, <clears throat> and y'all, I don't even, I can't remember if I told y'all, if y'all don't see me looking at the camera, then you already know that I am focusing on the road. Um, I can't remember if I said that part or not. I don't know. But um, like I said, uh, this morning, God and I was communing and during the time that we were talking, God has been dealing with me a lot about letting go, letting go of control. And I know that if God was ministering to me about this, there's got to be somebody else out there that may be dealing with the same similar situation or of some sort. God is saying, let go. It is time for you to let go. It's time for you to let go of control. God is saying, you know, all your pre your previous seasons, you know, all those times where you did not know whether you was going to make it or not, whether you did not know how you was going to make ends meet, whether you did not know where your next meal was going to come from, where your next monies was going to come from to take care of your bills or whatever it was, your children or whatever finance that you may need God said he provided all of those things to you and in that hour God gave me the scripture and y'all uh, like I said I'm on the road so <clears throat> I'm not able I will leave the scripture down in the description below but God spoke to me in that hour and I don't want to um, slaughter the scripture so I won't say it like I said I'll leave it down in the description but um, God said, he, I have, you have never, never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. And, you know, when God spoke that to me, y'all, it spoke volumes because in my previous seasons, God has not let me down. I'm not waiting on God to let me down because I know that his promises still stand on today. The, he, he spoke his promises to me months and years and, and a long time ago, but his promises still stand firm on today. The same thing that he spoke over my life shall come to pass. The thing that God spoke over your life shall come to pass. God said, but it is time for you to let go. It is time for you to let go of control. And I know that that is so hard. I know that it's hard to just let go of control. Whenever you are so used to being being the one that has to be strong, being the one that has to provide, being the one that has to to pull through and 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 make it for your children and make it for your family members or whoever your friends or whatever the case may be, I know that it is hard to just let go of control. But y'all they doing some road work out here but um like i said when god spoke that to me it spoke volumes because i have not only had to release all control to trust god but i have had to walk by faith and not by sight because if i had have walked by sight Oh my God, there has been so many obstacles in my way. There has been so many things that has came against the promises that God has given me. And it is so easy 
to get confused and get frustrated and to want to let go and to want to go back into your old ways and to want to question God and wonder, did I hear God right? Is that uh, Was that really a vision from God? Is this what God really told me to do? God wants you to know on today, this is your new season. This is God is welcoming you into your new season. And God is saying, let go of control because so that it was <clears throat> the same way that it was with your previous seasons, the same way that God provided. Excuse me, y'all. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I got to get a drink of this water. Okay, y'all. <clears throat> but God said the same way that he provided for you in your previous seasons. And although you may have been on the edge of your seat, you may have been a little bit frustrated. You may have been, you may have been a little bit upset with the process. But God said that pressure that was put on you has produced the woman or the man that you are today. God said he needed that pressure. You needed that pressure. And so it will be with this season. God said this season will require for you to lose control. To lose control so that God can be God. God told me this morning, with, with you trying to take hold of control, with you trying to figure out how tomorrow going to turn out, how the next day going to turn out, and the next day, I can't be God. You're not allowing me to be God. God needs you to let go so that he can take full control. He needs your undivided attention. Ooh, y'all better listen to the Holy Spirit on today. God said he needs your undivided attention in this season. There's a lot of things that God has to get. There's a lot of um, instructions that God needs to get. He needs to get these instructions to you in order for you to navigate this season properly. In order for you to navigate this season divinely he needs for you to spend time with him spend more time with him and y'all I'm telling you these things because these are the things that God has laid on my heart for me so I know that if it if this thing helped me then I just hope and pray that it is able to help you let go let go of that control and this is coming from a single mother with six children and y'all i will forever i will forever hold tight on to the fact that i'm a single mother with six children and god has brought me through god has god has brought me from nothing from nothing to being able to take care of six children, all my bills, with just me and him. You know, I told y'all in a previous video, with your faith, with your will, and God's power, you can do anything. You can do anything. I'm going to say that again. With your will, you got to be willing you got to be willing to do the uncomfortable things with your will and God's strength. Just the presence of God. Just God knowing that you have, you have completely handed it all over to him. You can do anything. There are things that I am accomplishing in my life right now that I would have never thought that I could do. And there is no way that I could do it on my strength alone. But it 
causes for you to let go of a level of control. You have to let it go so that God can be God. You have to allow him to do what he needs to do in your life. And I know that it is hard. I know. Trust me. I know it's coming from a person that had to know exactly how things are going to play out. And there's still a level of me that is being delivered from that. Because when you're so used to being the person that everybody depends on, it's hard to let go of control. It's hard. But God wants you to know in this season, it is time to let go. It is time to let go of the grasp that you have over your life the thoughts that you have the worries that you have god said i helped you throughout your last seasons i pulled you out of those situations that you thought was gonna kill you the situations that you thought you was gonna die in god said he pulled you out of those situations so trust him in the season trust him and let go of control so that God can be God. Look, y'all, I love y'all so much. If you have not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so that you will not miss another video from God. Hit the like button, y'all, so this uh, video can be pushed out into the algorithm. Um, comment, share. And I thank you so much for spending this time with me. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.